Hi everyone, this is the IB probability and set theory package and this is uh, the section on conditional probability, this is example 11. The probability that Greta's mother takes her shopping is two-fifths and when Greta goes shopping with her mother she gets an ice cream 70% of the time. When Greta does not go shopping with her mother she gets an ice cream 30% of the time. Determine the probability that, here's the first one, that Greta's mother buys her an ice cream when shopping. So what we're looking at here is the probability and this is really just a straightforward example here. This is the probability that she gets an, uh, an ice cream and she's shopping. Okay, So this is going to be the probability, uh, first of all, that she goes shopping, multiplied by the probability that she gets an ice cream given that she's shopping, because that's the information that we're given here. Okay, So the probability that she goes shopping is two-fifths. The probability that she gets an ice cream given that she's out shopping, okay, is going to be seven-tenths. So now we can simplify this a little bit here and we're going to get seven-twenty-fifths is the probability that she's going to get an ice cream when she's out shopping with her mother. Okay, so we have to consider the probability of shopping, the probability of that she gets ice cream given that she's out shopping. Now we're going to take a look at uh, a related question, similar question, but, but a little different here. Greta went shopping. We're looking for the probability that Greta went shopping with her mother, given that her mother buys her an ice cream cone. Okay, so we want to know what is the probability that she is shopping, given that she's gotten an ice cream cone. Okay, well this is going to be equal to the probability, okay, of getting an ice cream cone and shopping. Okay divided by the probability that she's got an ice cream cone. Well, we've just figured out the probability that she gets an ice cream and she's shopping. Okay, now we know that that's going to be 7 25ths. Now, but here's the thing, what's the probability that she's getting an ice cream? Well, the probability that she's getting an ice cream, okay, there's, there's two parts to this. Either she's shopping or she's not shopping. If she's shopping, there's a probability of two-fifths that she's shopping. And if she's shopping, there's a seven-tenths probability that she's going to get an ice cream. Or there is a three-fifths probability that she's not shopping. And in that case, there's a 30% probability that she'll get an ice cream. So three out of ten. And so this becomes... 7 25ths over. Now, what we got to do is we got to put this all together. This is going to be 7 25ths plus, and this is going to be over uh, 9 fiftieths. So th the issue here is that this the probability of her getting an ice cream is a, a little bit more complicated uh, because there's two events, there's two different ways that she might get this ice cream, either when she's shopping or not shopping. Okay, so now the easiest thing to do at this point here, we're going to just simplify this. Uh, we might as well just do this on our calculators. So this is going to be 7 25ths divided by 7 25ths plus 9 50ths. And this reduces down to 14 23rds. Okay. So in this case here, the, the subset of the probability here where she goes and gets an ice cream, that's a little bit more complicated to figure out here. Uh, we're going to see in a little bit that using a tree diagram makes questions like this a little bit easier.